assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to the third lecture in the last lecture we assigned uh, some live loads to our structure today we are going to assign mep loading or firefighting uh, loads to our structure usually the firefighting or mep loads vary from 0.5 to 1 uh, kpa in most cases uh, we are going to assign 0.5 kpa load so let's get started uh, i will select my area element then go to assign uh, area loads uniform to frame in the dead load pattern i will assign 0.5 kN per meter square then click on apply now my load is already applied to check if the load is dis distributed properly go to display show object load assigns area and check on this last option uniform load to frame resultants click on apply and the load is properly distributed as it seems to the purlins uh okay i will just undeform this model now to analyze and design the structure i need to select uh, the design code so i will go to the design tab click on steel frame design and click on view revised preferences from this drop down menu i will change my design code to euro code 3 i will click on okay then i need to define some load combinations go to the define tab load combinations here i have two options i can either add a new combination manually i or i can uh, add the combinations uh, which are the default combinations based on the uh, code selected in the previous uh, option so i will show you both of them separately let's add a combination manually first i will click on this option i will type in my combination name as 1.35 dead plus 1.5 live which is the main combination of euro code i will type in 1.35 factor here i'll click on add then go to live and i will type in the live load factor of 1.5 then click on add and okay if i want to change my combination at any stage i can always click on modify or show combination and i can change my parameters from this window so let's delete this option and to add the default design combinations i will click on this default design combos option and here i will check on this steel frame design and uh, you can change the combination data from here if your strength is checked it means the ultimate combinations will add to your combination list and if deflection is checked it means the serviceability load combinations will be added to your default combinations so uh, let's not change anything here i will click on okay and again click on okay now sap has automatically added these four combinations out of them the first two are the ultimate combinations with factor uh, load factor as greater than 1 and the second one is the same as i defined manually earlier with 1.35 dead and 1.5 as live load factor the third and fourth one are serviceability load combinations uh, we will check our deflections on these combinations so let's click on okay now our combinations are added and structure is good to be analyzed so to analyze the structure i will click on this run analysis option from this menu or i can click on analyze and run analysis from here or the shortcut command for analysis is f5 so let's press f5 and i will just uh, uncheck or do not run this model case since i do not need this at this stage i will just uh run my dead load case and live load case so just click on this button run now it will take a few seconds to complete the analysis 
okay now our analysis is complete and to design the structure I will go to design tab click on steel frame design and start design check of structure the shortcut key for this is shift plus F5 Uh, now our structure is designed to let us turn off our area by control W then click on this option not in view click on apply and to see the utilization of these members I will again go to design tab click on steel frame and display design information the shortcut command is shift control F5 which I will be following at, a, at the later stages so remember this command this menu will appear you will just uh, click on ok and uh, here you can see the utilization ratios of these members um, now it seems these are very under utilized like if I see for this column my utilization ratio is 0.157 this means only 15.7% of the cross section is utilized and similarly if I see my tie beams only 7.1% 7.2% are utilized similarly these main beams you can see 41% is being utilized 17% is utilized so we can optimize them further but uh, before that uh, we need to ensure that this design is correct which uh, for this particular case it is not as I s you know in the first lecture I talked about uh, these purlins that some engineers like to model these purlins in the same model like in the main model while some engineers prefer to uh, not model these purlins and only consider their loads on these main beams so if you are considering and modeling the purlins then we need to change some further options so inshallah we will cover that in our next lecture and uh, you are now aware with the basic procedure how to model the frame first define grids define materials then section properties and uh, the finding of load patterns load combinations then how to change the code and uh, then designing an analysis I think uh, for a simple case now the procedure is pretty much clear but uh, this is not the correct design uh, we will inshallah see in our next lecture that how to optimize a few members and also check if these are the correct utilization ratios or the structure is uh, the actual representative of the you know site conditions or not so we will discuss all that in detail in the next lecture i think this is enough for today so take care and allah hafiz